Hi friends, I'm Urvishi. Welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about the nakshatra of Bharni, and I'm going to be just touching the four padas of Bharni, uh, and uh, we are going to be talking about the impact on the different planets placed if they are falling in any of the four padas. So Bharni is between 13 degree 20 minutes of Aries to 26 degree 40 minutes of Aries. So uh, this entire length is divided into four parts. So 13 degrees 20 minutes to 16 degree 40 minutes is the first pada. 16 degree 40 minutes to 20 degree is the second pada. 20 degree to 23 degree 20 minutes is the third pada and 23 degree 20 minutes to 26 degree 40 minutes is the first, fourth pada. So let's suppose your moon is placed in the first pada. So now what happens? So now we have the impact of Aries because uh, Bharni falls in Aries and then we have the impact of Venus because Bharni is ruled by the planet Venus and now we have, have the impact of Sun because in the D9 chart, in the Navams chart, the planet, your planet, whichever it may be, let's suppose it's moon, it's gone to the Navams of Leo, it's gone to the Leo Navams. So yes, now we have Mars, Venus and Sun, these three planets ruling the mind of the native. Now what is going to happen is there's going to be a lot of creativity, there's going to be a lot of dynamism, there's going to be a lot of passion, a uh, lot of determination will, will become stronger because Sun and Mars are both about achievement and status and uh, dynamism, determination, willpower, all this is going to become very strong but along with that there can also be an element of egoism of a little bit of self-centeredness. So this person can get a little self-centered in his or her relationships, can get a little egoistic where relationships are concerned. So if if your fifth lord or your seventh lord is placed in Bharni in the first, uh, you know, three degree, 20 minutes in the first Navamsha, if it goes to the Navamsha of Leo, then the person can be a little self-centered, can be a little egoistic where relationships are concerned and uh, may not understand the other person's point of view that much. Let's suppose the planet goes into the second Navamsh, into uh, the degrees, 16 degree 40 minutes to 20 degrees of Aries is the second uh, Pada of Bharni which goes into the Navamsh of Virgo. Now this person is going to be more analytical. So creativity is there, intelligence is there, analysis power will increase intelligence will increase but the attitude will be more helpful more service oriented uh, more about caring so this person can really be a great nurse or a great healer somebody who wants to help others because the effect now is now is mars venus and mercury mars because this is in the sign of aries venus because this is this uh, nakshatra is ruled by venus and mercury because in the navamsh it has gone to the navamsh of mercury but you also got to understand that the sign of aries is the first house and virgo is the sixth house so this is six eight position from each other and mars and mercury are enemies so there will be some kind of a contradiction also in the personality Sometimes you will see more of a mercury kind of an attitude. Sometimes there will be the Martian quality will be more. So there will be slight contradiction in the personality. But this person will be very helpful and more analytical, more intelligent, uh, more meticulous in their approach, in creativity, more uh, critical. In uh, if, if they are in a creative field, these people can really, really excel. But the personality will, you know, be a little more difficult. The third uh, Navamsh or the third Pada of uh, Bharni is 20 degrees of Aries to 23 degrees 20 minutes of Aries which falls in the third Pada of Bharni. So this goes into the uh, Libra Navamsh. So in the D9 chart your planet will go into Libra. Now the impact is Mars, Venus, Venus because Libra is ruled by Venus and uh, Bharni is ruled by Venus and Mars rules uh, Aries. So now this is more of Venus. This is more of a, you know, uh, the, the sexual uh, energy will be greater now. Uh, the Rajas qualities will be greater. The qualities of achievement, the qualities related to business where one can hoard and gain money. Uh, the qualities related to, uh, you know, creativity also will increase. 
because now this is the seventh house the natural seventh house one where where one wants to be in the limelight where one wants to have a public image so all those things will be more important so here the person's behavior uh, will be more pleasant because the impact of venus is more there will be less of the heat of mars there will be more you know this person is going to be more towards business more towards gains more towards relationships so as a person this personality is uh, more pleasant uh, but the sexual energy is going to be higher now we go into the fourth navamsh or the fourth pada of bharni which falls between 23 degree 20 minute to 26 degree uh, 40 minutes of aries so this is the last pada of bharni uh, which is the fourth uh pada and this goes into the navamsh of scorpio so now we have the energy of mars which is aries venus which is bharni and mars which is scorpio so this is the most difficult pada of of this uh, nakshatra so this pada has a lot of fire energy and uh, these people are already we discussed about being mysterious being secretive being tra transformational lot having lots of ups and downs in life uh and in the sign of scorpio uh the secretiveness increases the hidden qualities the mysteries increases you may just not know this person this person may show or uh, pretend to be somebody and they will have a very secretive side to themselves so if this person is not handled properly if this child is not handled proper properly so they can grow up to be uh, people uh, like you know who uh, we see you know those uh, criminals who throw acid on the faces of girls so people like that who can be very very vindictive because in the sign of scorpio a very strong sense of vindictiveness prevails and when you have so much passion mars and venus together so there's so much passion already and there's so much sexual energy and you know it's like a bharani people can get really obsessed about relationships and especially in this fourth pada this is a lot of obsession now at this point of time bharani people generally can be very obsessed about relationships they could always want to be sticking around with a partner but here in the fourth pada the energy gets a little negative so the energy has to be handled very properly uh, only then it can act positive and this person can actually go into deep mysteries into great you know he can be a great astrologer great into occult can be a great psychologist a great psychiatrist so he can use that energy in a very good manner if he or she is guided well otherwise this energy can also act very negatively on the personality of the native so this last pada is the difficult pada of bharni now let's talk about if moon is transiting on bharni what all activities uh, should we do and what all activities should we not do so any kind of an activity which uh, includes cleansing uh clearing clutter changing the energy changing the environment changing things finishing things is good in the nakshatra of bharni like demolishing a house or uh, finishing something completing something something that you left midway that you forgot to complete you can complete it now this nakshatra is not a good energy for starting something this nakshatra is about finishing it is not about starting so don't do anything like uh, starting a relationship starting something new because it may not have a uh, you know long life or it may end very abruptly and this nakshatra is actually very bad for travel so never plan any kind of a travel or uh, during the nakshatra of bharni so bharni is only about cleansing you want to clean your house you want to uh, clean your car you want to sell your car you want to end a relationship you want to finish something you just want to complete something do it when moon comes in bharni and never initiate never start something auspicious uh, in the nakshatra of bharni uh, one more thing there are certain professions which are uh, very well aligned to the nakshatra of bharni which the bharni people can do so these professions would include anything to do with the sexual industry 
anything to do with child birth so uh, working in a ho- hospital being a gynecologist being a nurse anything related to education of children you know especially small children a nursery school teacher or somebody who works in a crash or somebody who works like a nurse anything to do with creativity uh, as you know an actress a singer we have lots of actresses lots of singers uh, from this nakshatra anything to do with the beauty industry these people are very beautiful extremely beautiful faces just extremes these people are extremes if you want to describe these people they are extremes and if we talk about the body parts they represent the top of the head and the bottom of the feet so again two extreme sides so this is a lot of extreme energy uh, which is not channelized sometimes properly giving bad results and when this extreme energy is channelized very well they give great results so anything related to the beauty industry uh, art child birth uh, children hospitals anything related to all of this is great for uh, the bhani nakshatra people occult astrology tantrics psychiatrists psychologists healers motivational talkers anybody who is to understand your psychology could be a bharni person so that is all for now we'll be seeing you in the next video bye bye